Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. Today I got something special, something uh, spicy and new that I cooked up here. Got Sultai Infect. Now, I don't um I don't often get to show off uh some brews here on uh, the stream cuz uh I mean first off, I don't exactly do a lot of brewing and uh you know, most of the time I just grab my deck lists off of uh MTG Goldfish and you know just uh play whatever um tier deck I, I feel like at the moment. But recently we uh saw how good these gates are in Popper with the uh, the Caw Gate winning a uh, challenge. So I decided to start procuring real estate and started buying up gates uh took me all weekend but i managed to get a hold of all the gates that i was interested in and one of the things that i really wanted to uh, experiment with was sultai infect um traditionally in popper you'd play a green infect deck and just try and go as fast as possible and um, I, I think that that is still a great option, especially with the uh, the downgrade of Might of Old Krosa. But what I decided to do is I wanted to play an Infect deck with Basilisk Gate, giving us turn after turn of um, repeatable pump. So, you know, like Basilisk Gate is, you know, generally going to be giving your creature plus three, plus three, or, you know, maybe even plus five, plus five probably not that high but you know it's going to be significant and if you already have you know rancor on your creature then you know all of a sudden it becomes a very scary threat uh so in order to um supplement the mana we're using the gates uh these are going to be able to provide you know whatever color we're looking for when we play the land most of the time i'm going to be playing sea gray sea gate as blue green and then matter gate is going to get potentially give me whatever color I'm missing, either blue for Bladed Agent or black for Plague Stinger. Um, and then Heapgate can also help out with that a little bit, uh, creating treasures um, or, you know, even just tapping an extra mana to give us uh, the color we're looking for. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited to be able to try this deck out in a league. I've been playing it a bit in tournament practice and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So uh, let's join the queue and see how we do. Now this, this here is actually, okay, great way for me to eat my words here. Uh, if I want to play this hand with Plague Stinger, then we have no green mana. Good job, deck. Make me eat my words. Okay, really good draw. It's Chungus! is raiding with a party of 15. Great timing, Chungus. We're actually just starting the league. This is the beginning of game one. Welcome, raiders. My name is Cooper, and we're here to play some Popper Magic. Hope your, uh, hope your stream went well. So I'm just wondering, like, how I want to deploy my Seagate. I'm thinking... First Seagate, go green. Second Seagate, go black. And then play Basilisk Gate and play Plague Stinger with Spell Pierce back up. And this is also uh, decent if I draw a uh, Glistener Elf off the top. Oh, no kidding. Well, you've been following for a little while then. It's been a minute since I've played Spirits in Modern. Thanks a lot for bringing your community down for some popper magic. Did uh, Dead by Daylight recently get like a huge update? I'm trying to remember. I think I heard something about that recently. But uh, might have been a similar game. Alright, so this one we want to go for black mana. 
So we can play Plague Stinger next turn with Spell Pierce back up. Oh, you got a bunch of new killers as well. Oh, shit. I was supposed to spell pierce this. Oh, well. Ah, it's just part of, uh... Just part of magic. Here on Twitch. All right, so let's play the Basilisk Gate. Black mana. Plague Stinger, go. All right, I got nothing else at this point. I'm going to F6. Uh, no blocks. Hopefully your last two cards aren't bolt into Fire Blast. They are not. All right, so unfortunately we only have access to one green mana right now. Uh, so I'm thinking probably just go for Rancor this turn, hold up Spell Pierce, and then try to win next turn with Might of Old Krosa. Any interest in running the guild gates as well? We could. Um, if we did that, we would have to cut out forests. Okay, they pass back, attack for one, put us to six, please don't have three lightning bolts. Searing Blaze, meet Spell Pierce, we've already been introduced. Lava Spike Me is your last card, Fire Blast. It is. Okay, GG, you win. Good game. So I could have let the Plague Stinger die. But um, you know what I should have done? I should have played the Briar Shield. We could have sacrificed the Briar Shield to save it from the Searing Blaze for one. Only take the one damage from the Searing Blaze. And then we get to hold up the Spell Pierce for the Fire Blast. Good game, though. Alright, let's bring in Hydro Blast. And Weather the Storm. Um, I think I take out Apostle's Blessing, which costs me life in order to cast it. Maybe Mutagenic, because it's not actually saving my creatures from their spells. So I get to take out the spells that cost me life to cast them, bring in Hydro, Blast, and Weather the Storm. Seems pretty good versus Burn. Uh, one land, basic forest. Another one land hand, but we got Manor Gate this time. So that's going to allow us to cast the Hydro Blast. We'll keep this, get rid of Plague Stinger. Opponent is on a deep mulligan here, going down to five cards. Play this, go for blue. Okay, opponent plays Epicure. We find no land. 
Pass back. Hold up Hydro. Miss on land again. Now, well, that's what I get for keeping a one land hand, but, you know, I was on the mulligan, Hydro Blast, Weather Weather. I think we got to keep that. Just unlucky that uh, we missed on land, that's all. Hey there, Islands. Yeah, I was... Uh, Working on this deck over the weekend and wanted to try it in a league. All right, so I guess we're going to name Black with this since we have the Plague Stinger in hand. I really hope the opponent doesn't kill us here. Play Basilisk Gate. Yeah, Mercy. The uh, Plague Stinger is the only card. The only black card. You could absolutely uh, trim to Simic. Of course, then you lose a uh, unblockable... Or a... Uh, not unblockable, but... A creature with... Uh, evasion. My, my thinking was that it was so easy to splash with these that I thought, why not? We deploy the Bloodied Agent, I think they can kill us. They have two cards in hand, it would be so easy for them to just attack and end our lives. But on the other hand, if we don't play the Bloodied Agent, what are we doing? We're just sitting here waiting for them to kill us. One of those damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situations. Looking for that Fire Blast. Alright, so... Uh, 2... Plus 4 is 6. Plus 3 is 9. So we're 1 off of killing. Fuck. I guess we could go Briar Shield Weather the Storm, or Might of Old Crosa Weather. Shield is probably just better. Are we sure we can't do this? Two, six, nine. So close. If only we could play Crusader.
All right, please don't kill me. Interesting. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about that, huh? I don't mean any spell when we're dead. No spell. Okay, might have a little Crosa for lethal. I was um I was at three, right? So they were tapped out. They had just used a blood token. Um, and I was at three. They go to their turn, draw a card, and they have just pretend two lightning bolts in hand. They cast one lightning bolt, I weather in response response, they cast the other lightning bolt, I die. So I wanted to cast Weather the Storm on my turn where it would guaranteed resolve and I would get the life for it. Without them, you know, like, responding and winning the game. Alright, so this is hard mode. We're playing against um, Burn with them being on the play. We are going to keep this hand, but it's a little bit... I mean, all of our hands are basically slow. We don't have any uh, good cards in the matchup, but, like, this is a pretty good infect hand, so we're going to keep it. Oh, man, it's just so slow. I wish we had anything, like, weather, spell pierce, anything. Uh, that's one of the tricky things about magic is you can't necessarily think just because somebody was just because somebody won doesn't necessarily mean they did the right thing. It just like because uh, just because somebody lost doesn't mean they played poorly. They could have played perfectly and still lost. Probably should have mulliganed this. Another gate. All right, uh, let's go for black with this one. Problem is we can't play this until turn three because we need to hold up Snakeskin Veil. Woof, really need a blue elemental blast on top. Oh. You play perfect and lose all the time. See, there you go, just like that. We, we really can't, like, deploy the Blighted Agent here. I'm sure we'll just die. It, it will die. And then we die because we lose our one creature. Just gonna have to wait and hope we don't die. Um, but, like, Thermal Alchemist, they probably have a turn four kill. Oh, well, uh, we have a turn four kill, too, I think. We would have to deploy... I think we have to deploy the Snakeskin Veil to get the kill. Because we'll have mana for Might of Old Crosa Rancor Rancor, which gives plus 8 to 1, so that's 9 total. So we'll need to use the Snakeskin Veil during their turn. And survive. Okay. So if they have lands in hand, maybe. Just have to uh, cross our fingers. Hope we get lucky. Oh no, we will. No, because this is not green mana. And we need four green mana. Okay. I was thinking, oh no, we'll be able to cast all these things on the next turn. No.
All right, opponent, what do you got? Because you got a lot. This is already three damage. And then any spell in hand, additional three damage per spell. No way am I going to block. Electricery overloaded. Okay, so we can use Snakeskin Veil, make our creature a 2-2. Two -two. Any chance you play the cycling deck tomorrow or Wednesday? Unfortunately not. I'm going to be playing um, a modern deck on Wednesday, and then tomorrow I'm playing Cogate. I guess the Fire Blast just kills us here? Yeah, with the Monastery Swift Spear attack it does. GG's. Good games. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Not a huge fan of the colorless mana here, but I mean, it does cast Apostle's Blessing, so that's actually pretty good. We'll just Manor Gate for blue, and then turn to Glistener Elf. Faithless Looting, yep. Mountain Faithless. Ancestral, oh, Lava Dart? Oh, that sucks. Lava Dart is so good against us. Okay, there's their Kiln Fiend. Can't exactly spell Pierce a Kiln Fiend. I think we're going to want to hold up Spell Pierce. So I'm thinking maybe we just uh, throw a Rancor on the Glistener Elf, hold up Apostle's Blessing, hold up Spell Pierce. And then try and get the kill next turn with uh, Vines of Astwood. Because we can, like, spell Pierce and Manamorphose, and that would be pretty good. Or uh, Team Rabouter Rage to keep us alive. Uh, anger, yep, sure, resolves. It's Manamorphose or TBR, those are the ones I want to counter. Yeah, that's Fair Islands. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we're playing the deck today, to uh, to kind of suss that out. Sure. This is all fine. Only thing that really matters is Lava Dart. At this point. Oh my. Okay, so how much... Uh, this is going at my face. It's already at 12. Going up by 6. 18, 19. So I have to counter the mutagenic growth.
Put meter one. And I kill. Alright, so again, we're going to bring in Hydro Blast. I'm wondering about Weather the Storm. Um, weather might be where we want to be. Uh, definitely want all the snakeskin veils. Love the Briar Shield. Mutagenic Growth seems good in this matchup. Much harder to take cards out for this matchup as opposed to burn. Losing the Apostles' Blessings is one of the uses for our colorless mana in this deck. Yeah, and that's a big part of it too. Just give our creature protection from red. So we can trim on spell pierce. We're bringing in the hydro blasts, which are strictly better in this uh, scenario. Oh, that's a good point. Get rid of the agents because they'll have uh, pyroblast. Anyways, we cannot keep this hand. Obviously, no lands. Uh, this hand we can keep. It's not great, but at least we have something we can do here. So awkward. Don't even have another gate for the heap gate to uh, make treasures. But we will have turn two Apostles Blessing to protect the, the elf. Oh, another forest. Nice. So now we have Vines of Vastwood up. We can even Vines of Vastwood, the Festival Crasher, to uh, counter opponent's spells. Hydro Blast, but no mana for it. We could crash in here for five, but that leaves us basically defenseless.
Okay, so they're slamming in for some damage. Uh, things aren't really getting any better with our lands here. I'm just going to play Glistener Elf. Attack for one. And this way I can keep up Vines so that they can't uh, TBR for the win. Muta Muta. Sure. That doesn't change anything. And TBR. Alright. Vines of Astwood. Cast on the Crasher. TBR does nothing. Ah, still a lot of trouble here finding our cards. Oh, wow, opponent concedes because they have no more cards left in hand, and they figure, hey, my opponent has three cards in hand. They must be able to kill us here. Uh, our mana was not do doing us any favors, but that uh, Vines of Astwood against the opposing TBR, apparently enough to win the match. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Go turn one Glistener Elf, turn two Manor Gate, turn three Basilisk Gate. Probably play Blighted Agent turn three rather than give Glistener Elf plus two plus two, but we'll see what we draw. Oh, it's Jay. You've never seen Vines used like that? Yeah, it's um something that doesn't come up very often, but is uh it's very very good for you to know about it right like if you're a person that plays vines of vastwood you should know that it can be used like a counter spell yeah dracos infect with basilisk gate Oh, we'll get the spell pierce. Love to see it. Uh, his name blue. I think they'll just take this. Oh wow, they block. Hope they don't have a mutagenic. Shit. Okay. Okay, another Mugenic. So if we play Basilisk Gate, we get to attack for five with Muta, or I just get to play Blighted Agent and uh, hold up Muta. If we play the Blighted Agent, we can, you know, like really start to take advantage of Basilisk Gate since they can't block. Doesn't look like they're exactly like putting up much of a clock on their side. Yeah, no kidding. Old school magic? This card would have been uh, OP. Alright, no attacks. I've decided. Yeah, Trailblazer, you got it. And we get our turn back. Cool. Uh, do we draw a gate? We draw Vines of Vastwood. Okay. So, if I play Forest, so that's four, five, six, seven. I think we just hold up Manor Gate here. Swing in for three and try and kill them next turn. It's 
Sentinel's eyes, sure. That is not a problem. I'm going to keep my spell pierce for something that is a problem. Hyena Umbra, also not a problem. Yeah, that attack, also not a problem. I see no problems here. Yep. I was going to use the mutagenic growth here so I get to hold up the spell pierce, but I, I can't even think of what the opponent could have here that they would be able to uh, interact with Basilisk Gate even. All right, so um, what are we going to do against this opponent? We could bring in Weather to give us more time, but like, what are we even worried about? Maybe I just play the deck as is. We have Apostle's Blessing to give our creatures pro-white unblockable. Um, we can keep the Spell Pierce, actually, I think. Because, you know, like, we can either counter the uh, problematic auras or try and counter whatever removal they have. Like, maybe they're playing Gutshot or something. We can maybe Spell Pierce that. Gutshot against the Flyers. Um, that is a definitely potential, especially on the draw here. On the other hand, you know, if they just play their 0-4, we look silly. And they were also playing the 1-2 uh, the flying first strike. Like, we don't even know if they're playing the 2-mana uh, heroic creature. So, yeah, from the things that we've seen, Gutshot could potentially be a liability. Um, Blight Mamba is kind of interesting. Just like as a blocker, we get to regenerate with it. I think I'm just going to resubmit as is, honestly. Spell Pierce is something we could have looked at to take out. Uh, we got a Seagate. We got Blighted Agent. We got a Forest. So the question here is, do we want to name Black with Seagate? I think we just named Green here. We got a handful of green cards. No Plague Stinger to be seen. And because we don't have... Oh, no. That's a problem. Uh, that would be a good reason to have Gutshot, huh? Well, we're going to have to uh, be able to put a Briar Shield onto Blighted Agent at the very least before we deploy it. Three, three, first strike. That is a problem. I want to deploy my creatures. Oh, mutagenic growth makes it uh, a little bit safer, so I might be able to deploy bladed agent next turn. I just, you know, want them to stop putting things on this. So it could be four, five, six. I can make a blighted agent a six, six. Another gate. If only this said can't block. If this said can't block, we would be uh, laughing here. Free Aracroca, yes please. Must block. All right, let's uh, find out if we're dead. Oh, 
Oh, they're going to protect my creature from green? That's pretty good. Yeah, because it's first strike. It's going to be able to, uh, to kill. Although, why wouldn't you just give this probe? Uh, whichever. Alright, yep, that's pretty good. Nothing we can do about this. Uh, I think we die here. Yeah, good use for Benevolent Blessing. Yeah, with how good that Deathblade Elite is against us, I think we definitely just have to bring in those gut shots. I mean, again, it's kind of a losing play as soon as they put a uh, any aura on Deathblade Elite, but uh, Apostle's Blessing might have been nice earlier when we still had a chance in this game. All right, let's move on. Right, we're bringing in Blight Mamba, which we can regenerate if it's forced to get into combat, and bringing in Gutshot to try and get rid of that uh, that creature as soon as we see it. We're on the play here with a one land hand, but we have creatures. We have Gutshot. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it. I hope we draw land. Uh, name green. And, yeah, they have a creature that doesn't care about Gutshot. And we miss on land. Oh, we are in so much trouble. If we had a Spell Pierce here... Well, this is not the way I like to uh, finish off a match of magic here with a um, oh <laughs> lifelink. That absolutely does not matter. I don't know why that's in your deck. To be uh, to be mana screwed like this. But, I mean, I kept the hand. I kept a one land hand. This is my fault. Should have mulled it. Kind of feel like uh, that's been our our game three excuse for, uh, for our losses each time. Should have mulled. Oh, like this hand. Keep this. I guess we'll name blue. We don't have uh, anything of any other color, but seems good. Uh, if they're elves, we can play the Icar Claw Mirror turn two without worrying about um, removal. Just play the Basilisk Gate Icar Claw Mirror. Winding way, so it looks like they are elves. Uh, yeah, well wisher, do not care. Well, 
when we play the heap gate our basilisk gate is pumping for three that's a bit of a problem I'm gonna provide unending blockers although Iker Clamir is surprisingly good in combat So we have two green mana, would be enough for a Vines of Vastwood, we could go Rancor, Rancor, and then Muta if they block. So this becomes a three, uh, four, five, three, four, five. So they could actually block it and kill it if they blocked with everything, but we would get our Rancors back and they would lose their Huntmaster. I don't think they're going to want to block with everything. Holy shit. All right. Hey, Luca. Yeah, yeah. Pretty excited about the gates, although they're hard to come by. Uh, it took me all weekend to get a hold of mine. If they improved availability, they need to crank that up another five notches. Rancor's amazing. One of the main reasons to play green in Popper. Alright, so Priest of Titania, Birch Lore, Elvish Mystic. Alright. We draw spell pures. So I could play Glistener Elf play Rancor. I don't think I want to hold up Spell Pierce here. They just have so much mana. I kind of feel like this is a dead card. We're going to pull that out for uh, for Gutshot. Do you know the story behind Rancor's printing? I do not. Ivy Lane Denizen, cool. Of course, that's actually horrible for us, where they're just going to have this uh, enormous board now. So what I really need to do is I need to draw um, Apostle's Blessing so I can make my Glistener Elf unblockable. They couldn't decide whether it should cost two or three, so they accidentally printed it for one. Oh my god. I mean, that actually makes a ton of sense. His Rancor is so well-costed. Hey there, Blind. How you been? Nice to hear from you again. Yeah, no blocks. Get a Plague Stinger. Okay, so we could play Plague Stinger. And they don't have anything with Reach. So if we don't... Imme oh, they're just going to kill us, though, with Timberwatch Elf. Yeah, we're just dead. So I guess we have to attack and hope that they block wrong, I guess. I don't know. We got to go, like, attack, vines, muta. I guess we could... Oh, we don't have the mana. I was thinking we could hold up vines and whatever they target with Timberwatch out, we could just vines it. But um, then we don't get to cast the Plague Stinger.
Hey, Blind, you checked your calendar? It's Monday and we're playing Popper? Yeah, I've uh, changed, the, changed the schedule a little bit. Uh, I've noticed that a lot more people are interested in my Popper, so I'm playing more Popper. Okay, so small changes mostly. Um, I'm playing on Mondays now, whereas in the past I would not play on Mondays. And um, I'm uh, switching on Fridays. Like I, on a Friday I might play Yawgmoth or I might just not play at all. And then also um, I'm going to be playing a lot more Popper. So we're going to be looking at Modern on Wednesday and maybe Friday. And then Popper Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, wow. Did they do that on purpose? I guess, yeah, whatever blocks this, they could make it really big. Okay, that makes sense. They're just going to uh, use whatever, like, use this to target whatever blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because they were one off of kill. That all makes sense. So how big can we make our Glistener Elf? Uh, Might of Old Krosa, plus Rancor, three, seven, nine. They block with this, and maybe this too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give it plus seven. So it's an eight, eight. I guess we could Might of Old Krosa, and then when they try to Timber Watch Elf this... We Vines of Vastwood this. Is that lethal? I think that might still be off. It might actually be lethal. Okay, that would be cool if that worked, right? Yeah, okay, blind. You already you already got there. I was trying to figure it out and uh might plus vines on what they target. That's the way to go. So we're gonna use this. Because it kind of looks like I just have colorless mana when I do that. Might have a little Crows of the Glistener Elf. They have no cards in hand. I think this is just death. If they double block, they get to survive. Okay. GG. Got the infect damage in. Game one versus elves. Get there. That was so, so close. Um, if the opponent had one more elf, we were already dead. All right, so we're taking out Spell Pierce and bringing in Gutshot. And that's all. Hey, thanks everybody. All right. Providing some interesting games for you today. Um, yeah. Turn one, Glistener Elf. Turn two, Plague Stinger. Turn three. Actually, no, I think I just want to play Seagate turn one. So on turn two, I can play the Plague Stinger. And then on turn three, I can start using Basilisk Gate. I think you're right, Islands. All right, so we play this first black mana. Of 
Quirion Ranger, very strong here, allowing them to make a lot of mana. Essence Warden, doesn't matter. Why is that still in your deck? There's the Gut Shot. So we could Gut Shot the Quirion Ranger or the Priest of Titania. I mean, Priest of Titania is making a ton of mana, but so is Quirion Ranger, right? Quirion Ranger is untapping the Priest and also um, bouncing the Forest. So which one do we think is making more mana? Quirion Ranger, leaving Priest of Titania, or do we kill the Priest of Titania and leave them Quirion Ranger, Finehorn Elves? Yeah, Creator Range is not that much by itself. Killing Priest of Titania the moment you see it is a rite of passage. I mean, it's it's really scary on this board. They're making so much mana with Priest. Alright, so I wanted to play... What was it? I think... Do we play Forest Stinger? Or do I just play Basilisk Gate here? Hey, Blind, not a streak, but I'm back. Well, welcome back. 10 months, making it double digits. Thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you here, Blind. All right, I don't actually want to F6 here, uh, just in case they do a thing that I might want to pretend I'm going to respond to. Apostle's Blessing, cool. All right, so um, we can play Forest... Activate Basilisk Gate for two, hit him for three. But then we don't have double mana for vines. Yeah, not having access to green mana early was a bit of a problem. This would have been way better as a mana gate. So we're pretty much just hoping for a forest on top here. Is that even enough? Nine fingers was your promo card? I have really been liking the gate though. Just some, uh... ooh, Elvish Vanguard. Yeah, we are so dead next turn. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, an extra commander damage is sweet, obviously. Forest? Gutshot. I mean, Gutshot does get rid of this, but we're so dead, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh, play the Seagate, plus three. So, attacking for four, put him to seven. Not enough. Uh, 
Um, play the Glistener Elf. Block this. Gutshot this. And maybe we have enough to survive one combat, and then we can maybe kill. Oh, Glistener Elf is an elf, so that would immediately give this a plus one, plus one. So we have to gut shot this. Kill Vanguard, Blocker, maybe next turn we have Kill. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, we have to kill this first. Play the Glistener Elf. Play, save the gut shot for the Well Wisher. Good plan, good plan. We are using the uh, the combat step here, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we come in for one, put them to four infect, and hope that we can get the kill next turn with uh, Vines of Vastwood, because that's four or five. We still need one more. Snake Skin Veil, one, two. We need another green mana or like a mutagenic. I don't even know if we're going to have the life to cast, be able to cast mutagenic here. Yeah, I think we need forest off the top. Block. Might of Old Crosa. I think that does it. Because we might have old Crosa activate Seagate, or sorry, Basilisk Gate, and that should do it. We could even just use the Snakeskin Veil. No, because we, yeah, we can just um, Basilisk Gate. beat elves at one life and that was the same as the other game too like they effectively had us down to one even though they didn't like act on it uh so we've got a creature we're a little bit like ugh, i'm not a huge fan of my mana here but glistener elf on the play into Briar Shield. I think we're going to keep this and just hope that uh, opponent doesn't turn one Lightning Bolt. I mean, realistically, our play doesn't get very much better if we wait, right? Like, we play the Heap Gate, and then we still can't protect Glisten or Elf on turn two. Oh, it's Mountain. Oh, it's Lava Dart. <laughs> Worst case. Worst case. Of course, they're on Kiln Fiend. Another Blighted Agent. And yeah, our mana just sucks right now. And that is an issue we've been having here. I mean, kind of expected issue. We're playing four colorless lands in our three color deck. Oh, right of flame. Very cool. Oh, thanks for saying so, Jason. I appreciate that. And Reckless Charge. Love to see it. Oh, we are in big, big trouble.
That was really cool. Yeah, love Reckless Charge. All right, bring in Hydro Blast, bring in Weather. Uh, do we bring in Blight Mamba as well? Just as a way to have a creature that can potentially survive a uh, Lava Dart. Die turn three without Team or Battle Rage. Yeah, very impressive. The, uh, the extra mana really helped them for sure. I like Spell Pierce. I think we're basically like the... Um, the control deck in this matchup even though we don't have a ton of removal we can you know like really uh put a damper on some of their spells here uh do we want snakeskin veil snakeskin veil seems amazing vine seems really good icker claw mirror attacks fairly well oh, it's going to be so hard to take spell cards out here I mean, Briar Shield is a great way to protect our creatures from Lava Dart, right? So it's just a 2-2 at that point. So they have to double Lava Dart in order to get the creature. Board out Rancor. Might actually be uh, it's the, correct, uh, the correct thing to do here. Rancor doesn't protect us from the Lava Darts. It just feels so weird to say it, right? Because it's such a good card. Hey, stream team. What's good? Uh, so, in the, with the current schedule, I'm streaming Popper Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. No lands, we're going to mulligan this. One land is a colorless land. The deck is not happy with me. Now, well, this is the problem playing this deck. I'm wondering if we should be taking out some forest for some more gates. Hey, thanks for the follow, friend. Yeah, yeah, the mana is definitely an issue. I'm going to have to work on that. And a lava dart. Another Lava Dart. Can't protect it this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, 
you could absolutely read that as uh, someone looking to uh, to get something of an adult nature, but also it, it does you know just mean looking to get something, looking for whatever product uh, some is replacing, looking to get some what's it's. You know, everyone's in the market for a who's it. Yeah, that's not working. Still, I think we had a pretty decent league for a, uh, a first try with the deck, right? First time I've tried anything with this deck and... 2-3 in the league? In a meta this aggressive, not bad. One thing I am wondering is if we should look at uh, either increasing the land count and throwing some Simic Guild Gates in there, or reducing the amount of forests to throw some Simic Guild Gates in, because uh, a couple times we were cut off of blue mana. It would make the Basilisk Gates better. Uh, yeah, I am going to be playing another league. I'm just trying to decide if I want to make any changes to the list.